Thank you for tuning in to the finals matchup of the Ontario Doubles Crokinole Championship, which took place in Brucefield, Ontario in November of 2023. Got a classic matchup here between two great teams. The Beerlings, Ray, Ray and Jason, against the Con Men, Connor Ryman and John Conrad. Both teams had tough goes to get here. We had the Beerlings defeating the Slaters in their quarterfinal, and then the team of Josh Cariafello and Ron Langell in their semifinal. The Con Men defeated Jeremy Tracy and Andrew Hutchinson in their quarterfinal match, and then the team of Reed and Nolan Tracy in their semifinal match. These two teams are even in the 20 count at this point. And the Beerlings with the hammer. And play is on the outside, but Jason's got a tough shot here. Nicely done. He hit and stuck. Did the old hit and stick there. Ooh, not quite what he was going for. Conrad was quite happy to sacrifice his own in an attempt to get play back into the middle. And... Uh, he did sacrifice his own, but he didn't get play into the middle as he had hoped. They've left Jim uh, Jason with a tough shot again, coming all the way through the house. They've also left Conrad with an opportunity to, for an angle in 20. That post was unfortunately in the road. Beerling's happy to keep play on the outside. Ray is very confident in Jason's ability to shoot all the way through the pegs because he leaves play on his side of the board. Jason with a tough shot now, absolutely doable, especially for a player of his caliber, but it is not a gimme. He needs to get just past his own. Nice. Not only does he get the takeout, he also keeps his shooter on. Very impressive. Conrad makes them pay for leaving him even a sliver of an opportunity. Very nice to see John Conrad back on the competitive scene. We've been missing him lately. Counts as much as that, as Conrad would say. Play remains on the outside. Trying to draw a mistake out of Jason Beerling has not proved to be successful to this point. But this is definitely a tough shot as he takes his time to weigh out his options. Oh, makes it through the pegs, does not make contact. Can Conrad make him pay? He does not. Ray just does the hit and stick there. He's going to leave that one in the middle for Jason. See if Jason can convert this. He can. Redeeming himself for missing that long shot between the pegs. Conrad a little off. I think he just needed to drop to one side to avoid his own button there. Inconsequential final shot. As, yeah, oh, Jason did make contact with that button. He just wasn't able to keep his shooter on. Jason Beerling to start round two. Starts with an open 20 to put the pressure on. Conrad just a little bit off, leaving Ray a hanger 20. Unable to convert. Pays it forward, leaving Connor Ryman. Ryman doesn't want it either. Jason doesn't even go for the 20s. Let's change this up and roll outside the house where we're in control. Jason uh, Ray did not mean to roll that far. He's left an opportunity for Ryman. Ryman unable to convert on that roll in. Jason likely to hit and stick, keeping his button nice and close to the post there, making a tough shot for Conrad. Conrad opting to go over the hole. Nice takeout. Let's see if Ray decides to get aggressive and go for the off and the 20. Looks like he's sizing up his options here. Oh, swing and a miss. That could prove costly. Ryman unable to make him pay for that. More joking between the competitors here. Not sure what that was about, but they're having a good chuckle. Oh, Jason Beerling draining that big follow through 20. A little bump and run from John Conrad. See what Ray decides to do here. He's going to take this from the inside. 
Gets the off and rolls out. Ryman, yeah, was able to use a post, but not able to convert it into a 20. Jason, a nice amount of push there. He may have left the door open a sliver for Conrad. Conrad makes him pay, but does not get the off. Clutch 20 from Ray Beerling. That was so big. Nice takeout, keeping that out into the five. Beerlings are up at 20, so definitely they want to keep play out here. Jason and Ray having a little discussion. Where would he like to leave it? Should he leave it right there, or should he try to roll it over toward Ray? Rolling it over toward Ray is definitely riskier, but yeah. All right, forcing Conrad to go to his offside. Conrad gets the roll in, but not an easy shot from that far out by any means. Down to the last couple of shots here. Conrad needs an, or Connor needs an off and a 20 in order to secure a tie. Lots of post action, but not able to. Beautiful highlight follow through 20 by Jason Beerling. Just drops that in the 20 cup like it's something he does every day. Conrad to start this round, open 20. Ray just a little bit off. On that open 20 attempt, leaves Connor a heavy hanger, unable to convert. Let's see if Jason, Jason unable to convert, but he does get the roll away, not, not uh, leaving that in around the center hole. Conrad content just to play the takeout and wait for a better opportunity. Oh, they're up in 20, so. Beerling's up four nothing in this, uh, in this finals match. Beerling's quite content to stay out here. No, they're not. Sorry, what am I talking about? They've got the hammer, but it uh, doesn't matter whether they're content or not. That's pretty much their only option. Ray will most likely to look to roll in off of this one. Nice roll in. It's got play back to the middle. Ooh. There may be a touch 20, maybe even an off 20 up the line here. Jason's eyeing it up. <sighs> Gets the touch, but not the 20. Conrad's going to look to make him pay for that. He does get the 20. He does not move his own away, so there should be a chance for Ray Beerling to get a 20, but they'll still be behind one, even if they're able to convert on this. There it is, gets the 20, moves the black button away from the center hole, not leaving Ryman an easy 20, but they're still in control of this one. They're not completely in control because the Beerlings do have hammer. Nice roll by Conrad, making it a little tough for Ray. He should be able to drop to the side, get a fairly simple takeout here. See what Ryman decides to do with this. Wants to pull it back to not give Jason the angle in. Beautiful shot by John Conrad. He gets the off and he manages to work play back out of the middle. Beerling scrapping hard to get play into the middle. The con men doing everything they can to keep it out. One shot left each. Ryman just, yeah, beautiful spot there. I don't know. There's not much Jason can do with this. He says, I'm just going to blast it, and that he did. Ray Beerling to start this fourth round. The Beerling's up 4-2 to two in this race to 11. Rhyming content just to play the takeout there. Stay in control. But there's a lot of shooting left to be done. Jason went for it there, trying to get a, a 20 off that post. Was just a little off on the line. Ray forced to shoot through the pegs. 
Oh, Ray forced to try to shoot through the pegs. See if Ryman can make him pay for this. Unable to convert. Now let's see what Jason does. He may choose to come in off the one out in the five so that Ray doesn't have to shoot at it later. Oh, beautiful. Using the button in the 15 as a backboard. What a shot. Ooh, the Super Steve out of Conrad. Very out of character. Jason making the comment that he doesn't like it. Gets the takeout. May have left Conrad an option here. Oh, so close. Ray likely able to go through his own and drain the 20. He is. Puts them up. Two 20s against the hammer. If Conrad can... Or Ryman can... If I can get their names straight. Beerling's in fantastic shape right now. Up two 20s. Two on. Even against the hammer. Looks like Conrad may be lining up for a slice 20. Unable to convert. It may have opened the door for Ray to take yet another 20. And that looks like he just wanted the off. Smart. These guys are seven-time world champions for a reason. Conrad looking for pro or Ryman looking for probably a double. This point, Jason likely just looking for the off. Beautiful hit and stick there. Yeah. Well, if Conrad may look for a double and a follow through 20, be a big shot. Yeah. And the reward for his efforts is he set Ray Beerling up for another 20, which he converts on. Up 320s. Mathematically shooting dead at this point. Oh, that beautiful shot from Jason. Some definitely highlights in that round. Back to where we began with Connor Ryman starting round five. And the Beerling's up six points to two. Nice takeout 20 by John Conrad. Puts them up 2-0. You make these guys mad, you got something on your hands, that's for sure. Ooh. Wowzer. Let's see what options Conrad has here. He should be able to get the off. I don't know if there's a 20 there for him or not. We'll see. And there is. Why did I doubt that man for even a second? Ooh. Great bid by Ray Beerling. Not an easy setup for Connor Ryman, but he doesn't need the 20 either. Jason Beerling gunning for it. <laughs> Jason says you did leave it for me like a nice brother I pretty much guarantee you Connor Ryman's going to be looking to move that away Let's see it's tricky business because he has to contact the black yes and he does money shot Nice follow-through attempt there by Jason Beerling. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Conrad weighing out the options. He's deciding that there isn't uh, isn't much harm in leaving that that uh, mess in the middle. He doesn't think that Ray Beerling can convert anything out of that, and I think he might be right.
Jason saying that if he doesn't at least move that black disc, that Conrad or Connor Ryman is definitely going to make a 20 off it. It's just set a little too pretty for him. So I wonder if he's going to try to put that black one into a post and back into the middle. Oh, money. Absolute money. Interesting. That changes things. The Beerlings are only down a 20. They've got hammer. Four shots left. Jason probably looking for a double at this point. Did not get the double, but he pushed out. We'll see what uh, Conrad probably looking to push that 15 all the way through. Nice shot. Nice shot. There may be opportunities here, options here for Ray. I mean, it's it's going to take another amazing shot, just like his last one. But uh, he is sneaky like that. Oh, hoo -hoo. such a great bid. Ryman going for the off and the 20. Didn't get it, but they're in, they're in pretty good shape. They're up a 20, and there's all kinds of posted in there. For Jason to get, yeah. Beerlings each have a shot left. Conrad's got a shot left. Mm. Yeah, he definitely needed more than that. Conrad, Con Connor Ryman's asking Conrad to get the double, and he gets it. Money shot. Now all Ray has to do is get four off in a 20. He's got one job to do. Let's see if he can pull it off. For those of you who don't get sarcasm, I am joking. <laughs> Well, he got one. Not bad. Oh, we gotta we gotta show the this shot right here. Amazing bounce into the post and back. Beautiful. My editor hadn't have put that in, he would have been fired. Jason Beerling starts with an open twenty. Conrad leaves a hanger. Beerling makes him pay. Up two twenties. Ryman gets them on the board. Ooh. Jason misses and leaves Conrad with a pretty decent setup here. He's going to be looking for the off and the 20. Oh, gets the off, not the 20. They got away with one there. I think the Beerlings may just be looking for a touch 20 at this point. Nope, they wanted the off and the 20. See if Ryman can make them pay, and he does. Beautiful takeout 20. Oh, super Steve. Pretty sure our scoreboard is off there. I'm almost positive these two teams are knotted up at 420s apiece. Conrad doing the shot that was named after him, the Conrad, and beautifully done at that. Leaves that button very well posted. Ray trying for a bounce back off that peg, off that posted disc, but uh, yeah, it wobbled a little going over that center hole. Now, Ryman's left with a bit of a tricky takeout. Oh, wow. Fortunate that, that his shooter stayed on. Hmm. Jason trying for that protractor angle was just a titch off, catching the peg. 
Players struggling right now. Ray looking for the touch 20 on that, unsuccessful. Getting down to the last few shots here. Ryman going for a 20 again. Here's an opportunity for Jason Beerling. Take out 20. Oh. So close. <sighs> One shot remains for each team. They are tied in the 20 cup. So everything is on the board. One shot left each. Jason asking for the follow through 20. Oh, so close. Still not a gimme for Ryman. Yeah, he's saying he needs to, if he drops the 20 off of that, they still only win by a nickel. So yeah, he needs to, this is a, needs a good shot here. Tie. Wow, that was a battle. John Conrad to start this round. Little heavy on that open 20 attempt. Nice touch 20 by Ray Beerling. Conrad, uh, Ryman answers back. Let's see how the Beerlings want to approach this. It looks like he's going to try for the takeout, try to roll over. He was hoping to leave Conrad with a tougher shot than that. Conrad able to bring play back into the middle. Well done and beautifully posted. Nice. Yeah, that's one of those times that a wise player just recognizes the fact that he's not going to get the off, doesn't even try for it. Instead, just tries to get the opponent's button off that post and has eventually led to an opportunity here. Jason unable to convert on that. They are still in pretty good shape, though. The Beerlings with the hammer and two buttons on. Jason asking Ray if there's a double takeout there. There's a, there's a hole in the way. But yeah, there's no easy shot here. All these angles look just a little jammed up in one way or another. Go through his own is tricky business. Not so much that he'd be able to make a valid shot, but I feel like there's a pretty high probability of setting up Connor Ryman, and that is not something you want to do. Nice takeout. Let's see what Ryman, he says he's going to try to make it off of that one. So it'll be a takeout 20 he's going for. <laughs> Jason just saying he's going to hit and stick on the outside here in the 10 circle. Yeah, nicely done. Although I don't know if that'll leave up a, a lane for Connor Ryman the next time around. Mm. Not what he intended, but uh, it's leaving the Beerlings with a decision to make here. Jason wants him to go through his own and try to, uh, to touch the natural button, but that is tricky business. He's going to want to hit it harder. There's a chance that that center hole is just going to gobble up his shooter, which leads to an invalid shot. Nice. Yeah, he lost his shooter, but he took away that setup, and that was, that was project one. Ryman so close to the roll-in on that one. Jason Beerling content to hit and stick on the outside. Conrad the same. Mm, 
weighing out their options. Looks like Ray's got a line on this from the outside. Oh, beautiful roll. Wow. That does not leave Connor Ryman with a lot of options here. What are they discussing here? Yeah, made the decision to peel. They made the assessment and decided if they left that on the outside that the Beerlings were just going to keep playing with them out there. And I expect they're right, and their decision is paying off. Jason loses a shooter on that one, opening the door for John Conrad to drain that ever-crucial 20, putting the pressure on. Speaking of pressure, here we go. They've each got one shot each. Very pivotal. Ryman drains pressure squarely on Jason Beerling at this point, shooting for a tie. Oh! Wow, I guess the con men were right to peel. Can you put a decision in as a highlight? Because I think a definite highlight when they chose to peel that and force play back to the middle. All knotted up, 7-7. Seven to seven. <laughs> Ray, quite disappointed that that one didn't drop, leaves the hanger for Connor Ryman, who makes him pay for that mistake. <laughs> nice push, Ray Beerling. He wanted the 20 and he didn't get it. Beautiful spot that Ryman leaves Jason Beerling in. Mm, I wonder if the Beerlings will play an assist. It is something they like to do sometimes. Oh. Not only was that an assist, that was a beautiful assist. Doesn't get much better than that. Let's see. Conrad has been known to be a little spiteful and take that setup away, but it looks like this time he's content to just do the hit and stick. Ray Beerling makes that 20. Guessing the con men have confidence in Connor's ability to get it right back. Oh, wow. That could prove costly. It looks like Jason may play to the outside and leave... Conrad with a very tough shot across the board. Uh, not that tough. Okay. I'll say not that tough. He had a couple of options how to get to it, but. Ray says that's on. Let's see what Ray chooses on this one now. At some point, the Beerlings are going to be looking for either a 20 or a double takeout. And definitely going to be looking to avoid any sort of a setup. Just the takeout there. What's Ryman looking for? Yeah. Doesn't look like Jason even considered taking that button in the five. Oh, beautiful double right there. Beerling's back in pretty good shape. They are shooting against the hammer, but they're up a 20. In a perfect world, they'd uh, find a way to generate another double. Tricky shot here for Ray going over that center hole. He needs to go with enough power to go over the center hole without catching and wobbling, but he also wants to get outside and not too far outside. Yeah, like that. He doesn't want to do that. Big 20 opportunity right here. Wow, that's a costly miss. Had he sunk that, they would have been in very much in control of that round, still having one out in the five. Jason says he likes this. 
And he does like it. He likes it even more now as they go up 320s to 1. Conrad answers back. Jason says stick it right there. Yeah. Connor Ryman very, very skilled at carving in. But that does not look like a tremendous line. He's going to need the help of a post to score a 20. But anything that gets him inside would be good. Yep. They are sunk at this point. Yeah, nothing Conrad could do. Oh, wow, that was a race to 9. I apologize. I said this was a race to 11. My bad. Either way, that was a fantastic match that once again came right down to the wire. So many great matches in this Ontario Doubles Crokinole Championship. If you haven't already seen them all, go check them out. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks for tuning in, and make it a great day.